so let's have some fun today. I'm going to make cheesecake pops. Now I'm not talking about like cake pops with those round balls on a stick. I'm talking about a really nice cheesecake on a stick. You will need some special equipment for this recipe, but none of this stuff is expensive. And perhaps if you're a baker or you're a wannabe baker or getting into it, you may want to just invest in these. They're not expensive. First of all, you need some sticks. These are pretty cheap. Get them in craft stores or any of the big box stores. The next thing you'll need for this particular recipe are these small cheesecake pans. They come in sets of four. I actually have 12 of them. Um, but you can buy, I've seen them online, I looked yesterday, and four of these were under $12. So that's a pretty good buy. Again, I have seen these in the big box stores, and you might find them in the party stores also. So we're going to start with those. We don't need these until later. So let's put these aside because we're going to first make the crust, which is going to be a typical cheesecake crust. In here I have my graham cracker crumbs. Could you make this with chocolate crumbs? Sure, that's what you want to do. So I'm going to put in one cup of the graham cracker crumbs. I've got three tablespoons of sugar, which I'm going to now give this a mix up. And then I have three tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm going to mix that up until they all get moistened. When I had my bakery, and I do mean a little bakery, I had a tiny, tiny bakery. This was one of the best selling items that I had. Every time I had them in the store, they sold out. This would be a great party uh, kind of thing. You can make these um, a day or two before, actually, and have them for your party. And they freeze well, too. Hold on, I need a spoon. OK. Now, my oven's on at 300 degrees, a low 300. We're going to pre-bake the shells. So I'm going to put like a couple of tablespoons in each, big tablespoons. Just divide the rest of it among the different pans. And now to press them down, I have my high-tech tool, which used to be the plunger for my very old um, food processor. You can use the bottom of a flat glass. You just really want to make some contact down there. There you go. Now, these are going into that 300 degree oven for seven minutes. Then I'm going to take them out, and in the meantime, we'll start making the filling. The cheesecake crusts have been cooked, and they're now waiting on the side there, cooling off. So now we're going to start with the filling. I'll give you the ingredients first. We have three eight ounce packages of cream cheese, softened, three eggs, one tablespoon of flour, three quarters a cup of regular white sugar, a quarter of a cup of sour cream, and one teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm going to start with that cream cheese, which is very soft. Okay, and I'm going to get that going on the mixer. While that's mixing around, I can add the vanilla. And the sugar.
that can also add the flour at this time. And I'm just gonna let that beat up for a while, a couple of minutes. Now I'm gonna start adding the eggs. I'm going to add in the sour cream. Take a look at that. That looks nice. Okay, now we're going to put it in the pans. The oven is still on at 300 degrees. You could make these chocolate if you wanted to. You can make them strawberry by adding chocolate or strawberry, if that's what kind of pops you want. I'm a purist. I like pure unadulterated vanilla cheesecake. Just using it all up. Okay. And now I'm just gonna even off the tops a little bit. And these are going to bake now for 30 to 45 minutes, probably closer to 40 minutes maybe even 45. You'll know when you when you go to jiggle them. If the center is just slightly jiggling, that's the time you take them out. So, in they go. Here are our cheesecakes hot out of the oven. They're very, very warm. As you can see, they came out perfect. These are going to have to go in the refrigerator and spend the night because I like them to be really cold because what I'm going to do in order to make the cheesecake box is I'm going to cut each one of these into five triangles. I tried doing it four triangles. That was just too big of a pop, um, the five out of each of these. So I'm gonna get 20 cheesecake pops. So now they're going into the refrigerator and I will see you tomorrow when we put the cheesecake pops together. Our cheesecakes have been in the refrigerator overnight. And what I did about an hour ago is I took uh, the cheesecake and I put one of them in the freezer for about 20, 25 minutes just to really get a good chill on it. Now I'm gonna unmold it from, take that off. Okay. Come on. There you go. Now I'm going to cut it into sections. And as I said yesterday, I usually get about five. I'm going to need to wipe my knife because I want clean cuts.
Then I take a popsicle stick and stick it into this end of it, push it pretty far in, and then put it on a sheet because we're going to then freeze these again. I want these pretty frozen because when I dip them in the melted chocolate, I don't want the cheesecake melting into the chocolate. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish making these, putting them into the freezer, and then I'll come back. I'll show you how to dip them in chocolate and a few ideas on decorating them. Well, here are our cheesecakes out of the freezer. I kept them in there about an hour. And what I've done in this tall glass is I've melted some semi-sweet chocolate, about a bag and a half of chocolate bits, and I put in about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of uh, shortening, good shortening, and really mixed it up well. The shortening kind of loosens up the chocolate so it's not quite as thick. Now what I want to do is, now, oh, and I also have some toppings. I've got some coconut, some chopped pecans, some shaved chocolate, and some sprinkles. You can top whatever you want. You can top it with white chocolate or dip it half in white, half in chocolate. So here we go. In. This one I'll put shaved chocolate on. Now, see how it's pooling all around? Don't worry, because what you're going to do is after you dip them, you're going to put them in the refrigerator until the chocolate sets. Then you can take them off and with a sharp knife, just kind of cut around the edges. It doesn't show up. It really doesn't. Here we go with a... Let's do this one in nuts, some pecans. Okay, now we have another one. We'll do this one in sprinkles. Coconut. And the last one, we're gonna leave plain because maybe somebody doesn't like toppings on theirs. There you go. Those are your chocolate cheesecake, chocolate dipped cheesecake pops. And I hope you try them. I think you'll like them. Everyone does. I'm just going to wait until they chill up, trim them, and then I can make a pretty party platter. Here are our cheesecake pops all done. All we need now is a party.